in that rotation. And because of that, the opportunity has given him a chance to show what he can do if he pitches every five days in a rotation. So this is the kind of guy that you expect when you draft a guy in the first round, like Michael Kopak was, was taken, we talk about it all the time. He's really taking advantage of the opportunity. When you take a look at his mechanics and what he does on the mound, do you think he has ace stuff? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think for a long time people thought, like, this is a guy that can lead a rotation, and the injuries that had kind of set him back. But, like, yeah, there's no reason to think that Michael Kopech can't be a fixture in the White Sox rotation for years to come. Now, like I mentioned, and we talked about earlier on the show, he had a great outing, right? Yeah. Great start, and then the Guardians had this comeback, which leads to Liam Hendricks. You know, he came out. The bullpen, they they faced a lot of injuries, yeah. the rotation as a whole, or the uh, pitching staff as a whole. Are you worried about the White Sox bullpen here? No, they faced, they had a... a uh, they signed a lot of guys this offseason that should have shored up that bullpen, and I still think they're really good. Sometimes bu with bullpens, it's just having a guy that's hot or having a guy who's going through a little bit of a rough patch. And Liam Hendricks is having that right now. He's still one of the best uh, relievers in the big leagues. He was reliever of the year in the American League last year. So I expect him to bounce back. I, I don't think that's something that s continues, but it's definitely something to watch as the White Sox go. All right, well, let's zoom out and look at the league as a whole. Now, if you look at the top four spots, they are dominated by two cities, New York and L.A. The Mets and Yankees were the first team in both leagues to win 20 games, and that's the first time that's happened in MLB history, which is crazy to think about. Now, the Dodgers and Angels are also in the top four. So what is more likely, a New York versus New York World Series or an all-L.A.? Oh, uh, I'm going Subway Series in New York because when I look at the Yankees and I look at the Mets, I see two teams that could win their respective league. If I look on the other side and look at the Dodgers, yeah, I think that's a team that can consistently win the World Series. But if I look at the Angels, I'm I'm sold that they're a really good team. I'm just not sold that they are going to win the AL West yet, and that's what they have to do to prove me wrong. But if I look at the Yankees, that's a team that's hit the ball in the ballpark, is going to be willing to spend money, going to be willing to go get a guy at the trade deadline. If you look at the Mets on the other side of town, you know they're going to spend money. They've done it all uh, offseason. They went and got Max Scherzer and a lot of other guys that are really helping them. So, yeah, I'm thinking Subway Series of the two. Okay, so if you had to call it right now, which team? Of the four? Well, if you were saying the Subway Series, if you had to get a two. Man, I really, I like, the, I really like the Mets pitching. Mets? The Mets pitching is really good, especially right. if they get Jacob DeGrom. All right, there you have it. All right.